So we're here at EGX 2016. I've just had a go at Mecha Zoo. Um, I'm here with Mark. Um, give us a little bit of a kind of an opener. Where where did the idea of Mecha Zoo come from, and what's it all about? Yeah. So Mecha Zoo, at its core, is just a two and a half D platformer. Mm -hmm. Uh, very fast, flowy. Uh, the main mechanic of the game, you control pairs of animals, switch between them on the fly. They all have their own special abilities. Basically, we created MechaZoo because we just loved, we grew up with all the 90s platformers on like Mega Drive and, and NES, and we just set out to create the one of our dreams that we always wanted to play. It, it takes practice. You need to practice the mechanics, and that's what's so good, I think, about I mean, was that something that, that really led you towards doing these different characters with the different mechanics? Is that you kind of keep you keep learning as you play and play and play. Yeah, and we also didn't want to create just your standard, you know, press A to jump, press B for action. So we we figured out how to make the jump button into the switch button and create and like use kinesthetically like kind of accurate animals to do all the different actions. So like you have the frog and armadillo when you start this demo. Frog can swing on things with his tongue, and then the armadillo does that, you know, the familiar Sonic Metroid spin boost. And then, so you have to use all their abilities to get through and navigate the levels. Yeah, so, and that's something that I, I really encountered in playing the demo, is that there are points, you'll be halfway through a jump, and you'll have to change, yeah. and it's all practice. That's something that made a massive difference in level design, where it came to where, like, it seems like every little minute part of, of the level is designed where you kind of need to think in split seconds. It's very unforgiving, yeah. but in a good way. Well, so the level designs, when you start off with a pair of, level, uh, pair of animals, the levels are designed for that pair to make it as fast and flowy as possible. Yeah. But to get to that you know, fast state and flowy state, you have to die a lot yeah. and learn a lot. Like you, but that's the thing, like, we don't want to punish you when you die. You, you feel like you're learning something whenever you die, and you figure out how to solve the puzzle. Yeah, I think part of that, that fast and flowy gameplay really comes through when you finally get it, because it's a case of, Say there's like three jumps that you have to make in a row to cover a gap. It's a, it's when you finally get it, it works so smoothly and perfectly when you get it right mm -hmm. that it kind of it gives you. It's very rewarding immediately, and it's, it's something that I don't think you get a huge amount in games anymore. Where you yeah. get when you finally get it right, you get an immediate gratification. Mm -hmm. It's not like okay, you've learned this yeah. now. Later on, you can use that in a boss battle, mm -hmm. which would be more trouble. It's like you've got it straight away. Well done. Here's your reward. Yeah. Let's keep playing and do the next <laughs> thing. Um, again, is that something that you've encountered a lot? Playing this, playing with this weekend, with, with with getting really people to get hands on with the game, that that a lot of people are getting that same kind of reward back from it. And you can kind of see it on their faces. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. And that's a lot of the reception we've had since we started touring the game to try to build, you know, interest about it. So we've always wanted to have just that fun, fun experience. And we always, we don't want to be like I said, we don't want to punish people for for playing, you know for dying yeah. or we, it's a constant learning experience and so so you do get that reward so uh, what sorry oh no no so in the final build what we'll have um how many different animals will we have how many levels what's what's the kind of scope and size of the game uh so in the game there's there's five an animals you unlock you start off with the armadillo fight the frog boss get the frog yeah. right away then you unlock the wallaby panda and pelican uh the panda is very much like a tank wallaby perpetually bounces pelican flies uh there's in the game, there's five worlds, each with their own like aesthetic, kind of musical styling. And in that, you have three core levels in each world, and then there's challenge levels and a boss battle. So you're looking at around like 35 levels. Oh, cool. And for the average player, the first time through, it's about 10 to 15 hours of gameplay. So um, what kind of led you towards this, this neon kind of mecha zoo kind of style? I mean, you could have quite easily made this sitting around in forest Donkey Kong Country style yeah. and giving it all cutesy animals. What kind of took you more in that direction? Because I mean, even down to the music as well, it's very, very, very stylized, which I think is great. It makes it stand out. It's really, the visuals really pop. Yeah. Uh, well, like I said, we're, we're inspired by all those 90s platforms mm. that I grew up playing. So all of them had their own unique style, but they were all bright, like eye-catching. You were never bored when you were looking at the, yeah. screen, at the screen. So we set out to, to kind of make our own interpretation and put everything into a blender and make what the worlds look like here and we were very we like the dichotomy between like the natural world and the mechanical world so we just kept playing with that until it worked yeah, cool. uh, so when can we look forward to playing it and on what platforms is it coming i think we've got ps4 xbox one and pc at the moment yeah. yeah so it's coming out we're looking at end of october early november probably yeah. uh, it's coming out on ps4 xbox one pc mac linux and uh, eventually nintendo so nx eventually nintendo. you got you got an nx no oh. <laughs>
Okay, thanks for chatting to us. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you, man. Cheers. I'm here at EGX 2016. I've just had a cut to have a. We're here at EGX 2016. Oh, Stable Orbit is the name of the game that we're about to do. I think. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm flagging now. <laughs> so I'm here at EGX 2016. That sounded really weird. Like that. <laughs> Mitch. Mitch. Cool. Good. I would have said Mark and now I'd have been wrong. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs>